na chineke na nke kuru mihe ni ime onye obu na ni ana zoputa onye obu na ni ya bu opu ya ni nebu ye na amen anyi we na ase eze bu bedin kosi na ro tuto na ejama na nsopuru site na ebige bi maru na ebige ise 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 Welcome, my amazing viewers. Thank you so much for joining me on my program once again. I appreciate you wherever you are joining from. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you be notified each time I upload a video. You will be among the first to receive it. Thank you so much and remember blessed. If you are joining me from Africa, Asia, Europe, America, Australia, or any part of the world, I thank you very much for your contribution. Please, each time you watch my video, go to the comment section and put down your comments. That's it. So I want you listening to the message from this man 12 years ago. Let us fast forward to today so that you know what we are talking about. Fast forwarding to today, you see Enugu Community and Headers Union, Mayete Allah, set up joint tax force to tackle killings abduction. This is just this is abomination. And we have given 72 hours to the community leader in a Hamufu, Enugu state to withdraw with whatever agreement for whatever reason going into agreement with Mayete Allah is forbidden in Biafra land. So we are calling on a Hamufu people, Enugu people, that community to have 72 good hours to withdraw from such agreement. Otherwise, it will be you, that community, and that particular uh, community leader, it is going to be you against Biafras. It's going to be you plus the Fulani Mayete Allah against Biafras. After 72 hours, if you are facing security challenges, let us know and our ESL will be in your community if they are not there. If you have security challenges, immediately call on the Eastern Security Network and we are going to make sure your community is protected. Are you not uh, surprised? Is this not shocking? That people at this age Upon all the things that was going on, they use intimidation and terrorism to compel a harmful people to go into agreement with them. That is the idea of killing. That is the reason why they are killing them. That is the reason why the Fulani are killing. They are killing, 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 so they agree to go into agreement by force. After 10 years, they will tell you, oh, we have a, our agreement is this, our agreement is that. And we follow you to own this land. So they have so you know if we of course without us what it will mean is that fulani have succeeded in conquering a harmful people that's what it there is no other two ways to explain it if we don't intervene what it means is that a harmful have been conquered i am telling you there is no any other way to conquer people other than what they have done in the community they kill they kidnap, they kill, they kidnap, they kill, they kidnap, and then there will be the people who will come out and say, okay, let us come, give, let us go into agreement. So that it will go down in history that Fulani and the Biafra people have security joint, uh, joint, uh, tax, uh, joint tax force. It is abomination. So we are giving a harmful for people. The community that did this sacrilegious act 72 hours to withdraw from such agreement. It is very important. Otherwise, I know that when Mazen Amdekaru was telling us that we have many mountains, many, many mountains we are going to climb. It was not a joke. It was not a joke. I want you to listen to this and you know that the exact thing Oyendu was talking about here is what the Hamu people have done. But there is one thing I want all of us to understand this very evening. 
we are facing a very formidable array of enemies, both external and within. And we are going to overcome each and every one of these obstacles. That I can assure you that they may know that the God we worship is an invisible God, not a God that was brought by the hands of men. For we do not worship idol, and we can never ever worship idol is impossible. This very family, this IPOB, belongs to the Most High. And that is how it's going to be until Biafra comes and beyond to eternity. This evening, I want to place it on record that our enemies are intensifying their attack against us from every corner. I am not saying this as lamentation or complaint. I am only trying to prepare our people for what is to come. You are as our leader was preparing our people for what is to come. The question I am asking you watching me today, how prepared are you? How prepared are you? How, what, what is your preparation? Is it the preparation of going into security alliance with Fulani, Mayete Allah, killers, terrorists? Is it the preparation of giving up and succumbing to the terrorist and terrorism against your community? Is it the preparedness of you is to, is to sabotage the Eastern Security Network so that you can sell your community and collect money and become a, an Ahaji in a Hamufu? Believe me, believe me, you better pack your load and leave. Tell that particular community leader that went into this ungodly agreement to just pack his bag and baggages and leave. Because Biafrans will never allow him to, to stay and watch how he handed over the land of Biafra to Fulanese. Never cut this video and send to him. And we need, within 72 hours, public, public, he must come publicly and withdraw a Hamufu from such agreement but you know every time it is always we are talking and nobody is doing anything that is always what the thing they are we are doing but this is a joke taken too far it is the same thing Mazin and Dekano is talking about today mountains The time has come to separate the chaff from the wheat itself. Our march is very, very near. The enemies are crumbling, they are quaking, they are doing all they can to try to stop us. But they have failed very woefully. And they will continue to fail. But I want to tell you that we are getting attacks from everywhere. From everywhere all over the world. And very soon, they will buy over some of you. Some of you, they will buy some of you over. The spirit of Obad, Yasika, and Ifajuna are still in some of you. When the time comes, they will buy you over. I am not doing this program tonight to ask all of you to be strong. I am doing it to remind you. Not that if they succeed in buying you over, you're not going to stop what we're doing. You can't. Not in a three. You cannot. Not in a trillion years. But I need you to appreciate one very simple fact. That at the end of this very race, everybody will testify that indeed Chukwuki Kabiyama, the same God of Israel, of Abraham, Isaac, and Joseph, the same God of Ehiri in Aguleri, the same God of Umweri, the same God of Ora Eri, the same God of Owe Eri, the same God of Arochuku, not even the, the, the true God, one true God. You will know that indeed not. Now, you will agree with me 
that with the event of things, the prophecy of Mazin Namdekano has been fueled. They have succeeded in buying a lot of them. A lot of them have been bought over. A lot of them has been bought over. Completely bought over. Now, I want you to listen to the message from the Northern Group. These are the group who placed 100 million Naira bounty on Mazin Namdekano's head. I want you to listen to them. That the part away from South Korea, uh, or rather from Korea, breaking to South and North Korea, to the Western and Eastern Germany, to come on here, Cameroon, that uh, you have uh, the English and the French part that are trying to go away. You know what is going on. So for anybody to be calling for war. I want you to understand that our message is penetrated. He, they are now concerned. They say, why are we calling for war? When they are giving now the example of nations that have separated, they give the example of South Korea, Singapore, they give, they give examples. Our message is penetrated. And they should probably, they are getting, they are not, maybe now they are, you know, getting the message that the autopilot is not joking. <laughs> they have come to realize that autopilot will be the last bus stop of Nigeria. I am telling you. And if you, who is shouting election, have not seen that autopilot will stop you by 2023, you, you know, it means that you are not a human being. If you have not beginning to see it now that we are going to stop you for our freedom to come, it means you are not a human being. You are not seeing. But you, you know what? We don't care about you. We don't care whether you see or you don't. There are people that we are dealing with. Those are the people that we want to know how they are seeing what we are doing. They are asking questions. They have intels. What they know about what we are doing, you don't know it. That's why you come out and start shouting people. I want you to listen to them. And so you can begin to make your... Because they know what is coming. It is no longer business as usual. I want you people to... They are now contemplating on living on dividing Nigeria. The Northern Group are now contemplating on dividing Nigeria. The Northern Group, they are telling you now that North is ready to, to, for, for Nigeria to be divided. Yet, you don't get it. The hatred on Simon Epa have blocked everything about you. The name, once you, they have used your brain to go to one juju and say, anytime you hear Simon Epa, begin to bark like a dog. Even when Simon Epa is attacking your enemy, don't listen to Simon Epa attacking your enemy. Just go and bark like a dog. Because that is what you do. Otherwise, when I attack your enemy, you attack me. When I attack you, you attack me. Your own don't have any, you don't have any direction. <laughs> you don't have any direction. If you are a normal human being, at least you should have a direction. You wait until when I attack you, you attack me. But their own today is that when I attack the terrorists, they attack me. When I attack the government, they attack me. When I attack the politicians, they attack me. Have you noticed that? Their own things have no, they don't have any direction at all. That is to show you people who are already lost. Now, listen to the Fulani, what they know that you don't know. Oh, you think you can just separate? It's not easy. I believe in Nigeria. I believe Nigeria will continue to exist. Whether we like it or not, there is a problem. We need to discuss the problem. We are disagreeing with ourselves and we have every reason to disagree. The North before now is saying we don't believe in separation. But as I'm standing, I'm telling you that if there's going to be separation tomorrow, the North is ready for it. Tell you that the North before now, they say the North before now is not looking for separation. But they can tell you that if it comes tomorrow that Nigeria should separate, the North is ready. Now ask yourself, on whose, on which people's or which group effort are they making this statement? On whose effort? Is it your effort? No. It is the effort of 
autopilot IPOB, the effort of Eastern Security Network, the effort of all the, they have, the alliances we are building now coming together. It is not your effort. It is not the effort of those who are now going running mad on social media. Are they talking about Biafra again? <laughs> no. It is the effort of those agitating for Biafra. It is the e effort of those, the real IPOB, autopilot. It is the effort that we are making. It is not your effort. Are you talking about Biafra? Are they talking about Biafra today? No. Their yeah, Biafra is Simon Ekpa. <laughs> Once Simon Ekpa make video, they go and start, you know, uh, they go and start doing propaganda with Simon Ekpa make video. That's all. So Fulani cannot come and start making comments based on their activities. Because the activities is only against Simon Ekpa, not nobody else. Simon Ekpa has become a Biafra that they are fighting. Anezun Keme, Maka Akarimokun Kote. The trouble that I was looking for, I am bigger than that trouble. I want you to, look, to watch. We are also ready. Let's go our either ways. And, and I'm telling you this with all sincerity. Northern Nigeria before now do not want to hear anything separation. But as of today, as I speak to you, the North is equally ready. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Northern Nigeria before now, Northern Nigeria before now, do not want to hear anything separation. But as at now, as at now, autopilot, we know they fear anybody. We are ready to fight even to international community. And I am telling you the fact, we are going to fight anybody. Even any nation that come to fight us, we will fight them to make sure we get our freedom. Because that is what, when you know your right, the whole thing will be easy. The same way they are supporting Ukraine. The same way European Union is supporting Ukraine. The same way all NATO countries are supporting Ukraine. The same thing Ukraine is doing is the same thing I am going to do. And the same thing Biafra people are going to do. And we are not going to be scared of anybody. Anybody that come and fight with Nigeria will fight them. Even if Germany come to fight alongside with Nigeria, we are going to fight against Germany. I am telling you the fact. If the United Kingdom tomorrow send arms to Nigeria to fight us, we are going to fight them. Those who will join in alliance with Biafra will fight the United Kingdom. But let me tell you, the interest is too much. The interest the business interest is so much in Biafra. So any nation that, of course, most of the nations that we are already talking with, any day this war break out and the United Kingdom send military aid to Nigeria, we fight them. I am telling you the fact. The way they are engaging Russia is the way we are going to engage any nation that come to fight with Nigeria. As simple as that. This is not 1960. We are everywhere. We are everywhere. Anya anya emepego. Anya anya emepego. The reason why God sent us from Nigeria to abroad, where we are today, is for a day like this to come. We have opened our eyes. We are civilized. You can't intimidate me with law. You cannot intimidate me with law anywhere. I am not. I am the last person. I will be the last person you are going to intimidate in Biafra for Biafra to come. I will be the last person you are going to intimidate with anything that I will not fight for my people. I will be the last person. Because where I am today, God brought me here. And God will fulfill that particular reason for bringing me to Finland. Finland is a country that knows what freedom is all about. Finland fought Russia. This Russia you see today that are killing people in Ukraine. Finland, the same thing Ukraine is doing today, Finland have done it. Finland did it many years ago. Over 100 years ago. They fought Russia. They fought Russia as small as they are. And they defeated Russia. So let me tell you today, 
we are not scared of anybody. When this war is going to come, any nation that fight and they brought, bring arms to Nigeria, we are going to fight them. I am telling you, we will fight them internally and externally. It is going to be like that. Just the way everybody is fighting Russia today is the same way we are going to fight any nation that will come from Nigeria. Let us see how that nation is going to do it. But let me also inform you today, we are in contact with many nations and they are ready to work with Biafra. They are ready to work with Biafra. I am telling you for the very first time, when Biafra is declared in 2023, you are going to know how far we have gone. I am telling you, when Biafra is declared, you are going to know how far we have gone. You know, that is why it is very, very important for this fight there is need for fund and money is needed. Money. Everything about this freedom is money. I am telling you the fact. If you think that it is not money, then you have not started. Money is what is needed now. I am telling you that everything we have gone very far. The only thing that is delaying us is money. So we need the money. We want the people that if you don't know, if you don't know how serious we are, come, come and talk to us. Come and ask us questions secretly. It is not the fund. This fundraising can't do anything. This fundraising is just to secure, to secure our land. The fundraising we are doing is to secure our land. Fundraising is not is not what we are going to use to declare the Africa. No. I am telling you, we don't. It is not going to be by fundraising. Fundraising is going to tuta and ato tuti ato tuta. It is for the security to make sure that. As we are, you know, proceeding to next year, let Fulani not run us over. That is the reason we are doing fundraising. We are doing fundraising to make sure that they don't run our land over. So if you think that fundraising is what we are going to, go to, to uh, you're going to use to get Biafra, you, my brother, you have not, you are, you, you are far from the truth. No, it's not from fundraising. We need people that will fund Biafra freedom next year. I am telling you the fact. And let me tell you that, let me not say it. Let me not. So if you want to know how far we have gone, come and talk to us. If we convince you, bring your money. If we don't convince you, you go. Of course, you don't expect us to tell you, uh, uh, you know, you know, every information. But the information we are going to tell you, even if you are a Nigeria agent, you come to get that information, you're not going to use it to do anything. Okay? So but what I'm telling you is that, for those of you who say, who, if you know who has money to fund this freedom, because the reason why people are not coming out is that they are not sure. They are not sure. They don't want, oh, you know, and especially those who will be, you know, who will be coming on social media to tell how much you have donated. We don't do that. This is the real deal. Come and ask us question what we have done, you know, that is not anywhere in the public. And I know how to shape my mouth and explain it to you. If I convince you, bring your money and you are going to see Biafra will come next. I am telling you the fact. So we need, we need mega box. Mega box, not fundraising. Fundraising is to make sure we protect our land. To make sure that nobody will come and run over our land again. So as we have chased the criminals and the terrorists away, we need to sustain it. Do you know the reason why a Hamufu community is giving their land? Because immediately they, they kidnap Mazen Amdekano. That is why a Hamufu can. You think if Mazen Amdekano is here today, all those nonsense will be happening? No. But we are telling you that even in the absence of Mazen Amdekano, we will even do better. We are going to do better. That is what we want to prove to them. That in the absence of Mazin Namdekano, we are going to be very rugged and do better. So, we are not going to allow them to come back. Because when Mazin Namdekano was here, we succeeded. And all the terrorists in the forest, they were all chased away. Everybody was giving this money. Today, Hamufu is going as, uh, because of fear. They have used fear to intimidate uh, uh, Hamufi people, threaten them by killing and, uh, you know, terrorizing them. 
They were there because of fear they went into agreement with them. And before you know it, another community will follow. Another community will over our dead body will that happen. So tell that the Hamufu, whoever the person is, that 72 hours we will declare him enemy of Biafra. They must denounce any agreement with Mayete Allah. Over our dead body in Biafra will that be possible? And you know, you can't cook for everybody. You can't. So the people, the elders in a Hamufu, the people in a Hamufu, if you are having attacks, we are equal to the tax. We are capable of defending your land. So you can't, we can't be here and you go and uh, align with, with the terrorists. Because today they are going to, you are going to work with them. They will know the secret of what you people are doing. And before you know it, they wipe you out. They did it in Benue State. Benue State, they were doing, they were eating and eating and they, you know, they were cooking together in Benue. The day they came to attack the people that were, that were, they were cooking together was looking at them. When the people from Senegambia were slaughtering all of them, they didn't do anything. Those indigenous people, they identify them when they come for attack. They chase them away and they are in IDP camp. If you listen to the testimony of the people that survived, you will be shocked that the Fulanese whom they had welcome into their community was present watching how they were butchering them. They couldn't do anything. They occupied their land, occupied their houses, occupied their own territory till today for over how many years? I don't need to start reading this nonsense from a hammer, but let us listen to them. Today. That is number one. Number two, talking about presidency. What I'm going to say might be controversial. You might disagree with it, but it's the absolute reality, and I'm speaking the mind of northerners. And I have no apology to anybody in this hall on what I'm going to say, though I respect the leaders, elders, and fathers that are here. I truly respect them. But I have no apology to anybody on what I'm going to say. Let's please be serious. We are here for a serious business. Let us not make it a discussion floor if we truly want to do this. Now, talking about rotational presidency, what I thought we should be looking at is credibility, competency, patriotism, nationalistic thinking, the love for one another, and things like that. That what is what I thought should constitute who becomes Nigeria's president, not regional tribal, ethnical, or any other thing. Please disagree with me, but I will speak. This is why we are here. This is why we are here. Good. Let us discuss the controversy and let us find a solution to the problem. Please allow me. Please allow me. Somebody has his opinion. You have your opinion. This is why we are here. If you disagree with me, come up and give your position. This is my position. This is the position of Northern Nigeria. Are you hearing it? And you know, when they are talking, they are talking very authoritatively because they have the backing of the government. But let me tell you, this man and no Nortana can ever talk more authoritatively like Biafran from, from today going forward. They don't have the monopoly of violence. When you look at him addressing people as if he owned Nigeria, this is the position of Northern Nigeria. This is the position of Northern Nigeria. He let us solve this problem. He is looking for a way to solve problem and he is still telling you this is what they are going to do. This is how you are going to do it. No other person will be president except Northern Nigeria. Yet, he is also telling you, uh, let us look for a way to solve this problem. Why is he only telling you that nobody can uh, be president again? Except not an answer. And let me tell you, for those of you today who are looking at P2B, it is a shame. Did you not see mega rally of uh, President Gullo Jonathan? And did you not see the crowd? Did you not see all the crowd that were gathering in President Jonathan rally? You know, when I see a number of, when you just look at what's happening in the state. Oh, you know, look at what happened in Imo State where P2B was not even there. They say it's a mega rally. Did you not see what happened in Jonathan's presidential rally in 2015? If you don't know, go and watch it again. 
Go and watch it. Uh, somebody sent it to me today. I need to either bring it. Go and watch what happened in presidential rally of Jonathan. Stardom full with millions of people and people were falling from the top to bottom and they were falling. The place could not contain people. In uh, Jonathan Rally, crowd everywhere. Did he win? Was he announced the winner? <laughs> Try Alo Melo. Alo Melo. They always borrow my word. <coughs> copy, copy people. Always borrowing my word. You know now they are borrowing Alo Melo. <laughs> The other day I was playing, I was surprised as I was playing the voice of the one, you know, in case in, uh, the one that is pushing drugs somewhere. Uh, it was uh, busy saying, Aromel. <laughs> Aromel. <laughs> he copied it from me. See, they can't give me credit. <laughs> they can't give me credit of copying all these things from me. They are using it as if it is them. I said, "Alo Mel, o kopi o kopi goria, o le pusi ya keto na ante ano ano, Alo Mel, Alo Mel, o le ana aguego, hey, samo ne panangu henese, samo ne panangu o le go iese na na ngo henese, samo ne panangu aguego, hey, Alo Mel, Alo Mel, and the person was shouting it, ona." I need to even play, you know. Hello, Melo. Girlfriends, in the autopilots, we do. Then the criminal Simon Nipa. Koji Egunu. Unu na tule wena ngweni si. On the freedom fighter. Everywhere, everywhere. credit they can't give me credit of copying of copying from me ordinary credit they can't give me you copy from me you cannot give me you know you may give me credit now this is i'm saying i copy from someone i want you people to listen <laughs> Everywhere, <laughs> 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 Simon <laughs> 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 On my phone raising. Now soon ESN. No etinian ya. Now soon no ya chunde fulani under 24 hours. Or who know but they go nuclear weapon for North Korea or if you are one day danger weed. I say I say. 
Welcome, my amazing viewers. Thank you so much for joining me on my program once again. I appreciate you wherever you are joining from. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you will be notified each time I upload a video. You will be among the first to receive it. Thank you so much. And remember, if you are joining me from Africa, Asia, Europe, America, Australia, or any part of the world, I thank you very much for your contribution. Please, each time you watch my video, go to the comment section and put down your comments. That is where we will learn from each other. We learn a lot from the comment section. I don't speak alone. I am speaking with you. You can even put it post. You can criticize if you so desire. But do it constructively so that we can learn from one another. That is why we are here. Thank you so much for joining. Remember, you have to say what is happening in your own area. Whatever happens, if you see something, say something. Don't be silent. We cannot allow the conventional media to continue to change the narrative. We cannot allow the conventional media to continue to play down the situation. We will continue to bring the situation the way it is and say it straight the way it is without hating anybody. We are not preaching this speech. We are not talking down anybody. We say leave and let's leave. And for those who say we will not leave, just like the full Indian Jewish have said, they will not leave either. They compare me to Mazin Namdekano. Every time they compare me to Nam, ask them to compare me to themselves. They cannot do that because they know they are not, you know, they know that, they know that, they know that you, know, you know, they are not existing in this struggle. <coughs> so let them compare me to themselves or compare me to somebody else in the Biafra struggle and not to Maz, and not with Mazin Namdekano. That is to show you there is something that is paining them. Very, very much. That thing is paining them. Because if there is nothing paining them, they would have been comparing me to themselves. That they are not doing this, but I'm doing it. They are not doing that, but I'm doing it. But every time they open their mouth, they will call Mazin Namdekan. Now, I want you people to listen to this. One moment. Oh, yeah, yeah, 
How far is it? Listen, oh, this one uh, this is working up now. Go. The uh, the cocaine the cocaine pusher in uh, Holland called uh, uh, called Obi that uh, you know after pushing cocaine she don't have the money. I don't know where the money go because at least she don't have the money. So because I you know from the inter they say she used to to push cocaine. So now after pushing the cocaine, he she is just realizing that I was in Germany in 2019. So after making brokers yesterday, where I, I played their voice as they were lamenting to expose that they are working with uh, the man in the, the beer man in the uh, other side of uh, Biafra. I want you to see what she's doing today. <laughs> Recycling information. Um oh a video experiment mm, mm, just research and uh, oh, well, with the I'm um, a lot of people have made this video. Oh just Sophia today. And then I'm going to uh the she just find it out. Yeah, well, on the date, uh, on the day of August 2019, if I'm not mistaken, 2019 August, it came to region of Germany. Yes. It was there representing the Igbos in Finland. Oh. Uh,
And open up this video immediately. This video, you want to go before, before, before you open up this video. I want to go be their friends. I'm going to platform. I want to go be their friends. Well, well. I pay the members. I'm going to platform here. Well, well. Before he brought this video out. Just wake up. Okay, man. Hello. Oh, what's in that Good afternoon. I greet everybody. And I say, my God, Chukwu Kugema. Bless. Oh, oh God bless you. God bless you. Hey, what? Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. Um. Hey, this video. Then I'm going to Nasty Batana Hine, may I wish the Batana Hine? Yeah, on the date, on the day of August 2019, if I'm not mistaken, 2019 August, he came to the mother building. He put him, I was there representing the Igbos in Finland. Um, I'm going to of Thank you so much for your patience to watch from the beginning to the end. I hope you have learned something from the video you have just watched. The video you have just watched is to bring information to your doorstep and for educational purpose. It is not to demonize anybody. Let us watch continuously and see who can be able to make a sense out of every nonsense we are seeing. We must continue. We move. It doesn't matter what they do. It doesn't matter what they say. They will kill us. We will kill them. At the end of the day, Biafra is here. Thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please kindly subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so that you notified each time I upload a video. You will be among the first to receive it. Thank you and remain blessed. Bye-bye. See you again.